Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Craig Berger, Technology Sector Head and Semiconductor Analyst here at Hedgeye Risk Management. Wanted to talk to you today about Texas Instruments, ticker TXN. Remember, they're the world's largest analog power management chip supplier. There's two things I want to talk about. First is implications for the industry, and the second is Texan as a top long stock idea. So first, implications for the industry. Um, yesterday, Texan reported robust results and guidance. Uh, they are in somewhat stark contrast to the more bearish and dire comments out of microchip about 10 days ago. Um, and what Texan said is they see a book to bill slightly below one, no unusual order cancellations, lead times remain low, and they're seeing a typical seasonal decline of a few points in their core broad-based business. And so we are seeing this bifurcation between what Texan said, which is not that bad, and what microchip said, which is, which is worse. Um, you've got linear somewhere in the middle, but essentially what we're seeing is firms that had expanded lead times and supply tightness are seeing more of a slowdown, whereas other firms like Texan that kept service levels high, lead times low, and product available are seeing a soft landing in the chip space. Um, and so that's somewhat encouraging for other stocks that have been beaten down. Of course, orders can be canceled at any time, and all chip firms are subject to uh, a semi-down cycle risks and ongoing macro risks that can happen at any time. But for now, Texan seems to be um, doing pretty well. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is Texan is a top uh, stock idea long. We do like Texan. It's a large cap. They pay out a ton of free cash flow in dividends and share repurchases. In fact, they pay out 100% of their free cash flow generation. The reason we really like Texan is because they control their own destiny more than other chip firms. If you remember back in the, the height of the downturn, they bought a very large 300 millimeter or 12 inch fab for pennies on the dollar at distressed prices, even though they didn't have any manufacturing to fill that fab. Fast forward five years, uh, the company's larger, and now they have the ability to buy one of three or four very large chip firms out there move production into this large factory and increase Texans earnings by 50 to 75 percent in the process. We think if this were to play out over the next few years, Texan shares could reach 70 or 75 dollars a share. The four targets that we see as possible would be analog devices, ADI, Maxim, MXIM, NXP Semiconductor, NXPI, or Freescale, FSL, in that order. Um, and so Texan returning a lot of cash, record high margins, record high cash flows, and the ability to control their own destiny make it a top long idea over the intermediate term. Reach out to me on Twitter with any questions, at Hedgeye Burger. Thanks so much and have a great day.